Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more RimWorld Pure Evil Edition, no time for BS, things are going on. And when I say things are going on, uh, we still have a couple of risk breaks happening, especially old Toon over here, where, where the hell are you at, Toon? He should be getting slightly better, I made up his room a little bit, so it's a little bit nicer, he has a huge issue whenever his room is not as good as some other people. In two days though, He's going to be getting rid of all of these negatives right now that we have. He does have a cramped environment. That's kind of interesting. And for whatever reason, he just feels bad. So that's unfortunate. Um, we are starting to make kibble, which is nice. Now, kibble, let me go ahead and bring this over here. I want to turn this off because I don't want it sitting in there. I want it sitting over here where all of our guanas are. I'm pretty sure that like nothing. Okay, good. I want to make sure that like the kibble and stuff like that wasn't being held over there. The reason that I wasn't making the kibble before, I thought it just needed one food type, but it actually needs two food types. I had no idea. So that's something something to know. Um, let's go ahead and haul this over to the right area with Juliet. Juliet is not doing anything. Man, I love psychopaths so much because they're so easy to keep happy. All the rest of our people here are like all pissed off all the time. Maybe you guys could finally harvest some of these potato plants as well. Oh, I guess they're all harvested. Sweet. LeBlanc, how, how are you? What are you just going to like do some? Oh, you're watching the eclipse. Man, uh, and this is why having the geothermal generators is important. This eclipse has been going on for a while for us. Let me see if I can get rid of this thing so we're not looking at it anymore. Tuna is still going to be all pissed off. LeBlanc is starting to make meals, though, which is nice. How many berries do we have left? 24 berries, 14 berries. So they're going away kind of quick. The other issue, you can see right here. See that rice, how that rice is growing right now? It went from uh, to 91%. If we go over here to the uh, strawberry plants, they can't grow because there's no light. So that is something to consider as well. Major risk break, tune again, having a problem. Oh, that's right. There's something else I wanted to do, and we need to do this right now. We need to get our guys' comfort level up because they're just so annoyed that they don't have anything comfortable to sit down on. So let's go ahead and make these chairs. Let's go ahead and start getting some really nice chairs out. Let's go over here to furniture. And let's make some cloth chairs. So we're not going to be using... We're not going to be using carpet for our area. I am going to end up using tile. We'll make these out of cloth for right now. I'll make one here and one here. And our best, our best crafter, I think, well, Chimp has a real, real interesting crafting. So I do want to get him like working on his crafting abilities. Chimp, go ahead and make one of these real quick, my man. And I'll probably have you make the other one too. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Iris, what is your crafting like? Your crafting is garbage. You're not doing this. I don't care what you say. You're not making this armchair. In fact, I'm going to have you sit there doing nothing until Chimp is done. Toon, what is your crafting at? Your crafting is garbage as well. Stop that. I want Chimp to make LeBlanc. How about you? I'm going to take everyone down to Chinatown. Crafting. Zero. Stop it. Come on, Chimp. Finish it up, man. Finish it up. There we go. And now he's working on the other armchair. <laughs> Let's go ahead and undraft everyone. So, it's a poor armchair. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping for something a little bit better. How about this one, man? Come on, make it up, man. Do it up for us. Let's get a let's get a freaking sweet armchair. What is this one? They're both poor. Really? They're both poor? Jeez, Louise. Tune still super unhappy. Oh well, what can you do? Toon, go do something. Oh, he's going to clean some blood up. I imagine he's going to be getting kind of annoyed, too, because of how um, how ugly our entire area is. You know what? Let's have Toon have another another little uh, another little go with the with the smoke leaf over here. Come here, Toon. Let me grab you. Go ahead and take a shot. Yes! The sun is out! Finally! There you go, Toon. It slows them down. If we go over to the needs, you can see you get a plus 15 for doing that, which is fantastic. But the only issue is that, I think if we go to health, it'll mention it. Yeah, the, his, his pain is down, but his consciousness, his moving is down, and his hunger rate is way up. So they consume a lot more food when you do this. 
but what can you do? Oh, our guys are eating their kibble as well. That's fantastic. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, keep making freaking, keep making freaking meals, man. We've got 46 meals, 47 meals. We're getting the meals down pat nowadays. So other things I want to do is, I think we're going to start by, what do I want to do here? I think we're going to start making more hydroponics basins, which would probably be a good idea. So let's make at least a couple more of these. We're going to keep them going couple more of these like this here want another one here and then another one here there we go and then we're gonna want when they're both done we're gonna want these both on rice if I have any say about it how's our heel root doing by the way uh pretty good the temperature modifier is a little weird in here right now because it's kind of getting like cooler and cooler and cooler in fact what we were going to want to do I'm going to go build a vent over here so that it can kind of get the temperature down a little bit. Build a vent right here, in fact. Let me see how you guys feel when you're sitting in these armchairs. Should be feeling pretty damn good. Yeah, the comfort goes way up when they're in the armchairs. I mean, compared to what we have right now, I may even build one more armchair and get rid of one of these. Okay, like tune right over here. If we go over to him. Yeah, look at that comfort shoot up from being in the armchair. All right, let's grab another armchair. Let's go ahead and get rid of one of these. We're going to wait until Chimp is done with this chair. Then we're going to deconstruct it and move it somewhere else, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and... What do I want to do with this? Do I just want to straight up deconstruct it? I mean, I guess it's good to have around just in case we need it. I'm going to uninstall this. And then I'm going to make another armchair out of cloth. You can make it out of human leather. That's freaking awesome. Um, I'm going to let them do that real quick. Oh, see right here. It went straight to potato plants because it just got made. All right, that's fine. Hold on. There. Okay. Let's take this one right off right now and turn it into rice. Bam. And then this one here. It already has potatoes growing in it, so whatever. But afterward, we'll turn this to rice. Boom. And cool the chairs out of the way, which means that we can go over to our furniture and finish it up. Big time cloth chair right there and for the cloth chair chimp if you could do this and then you can get back to work on the duster I want you doing that right now let's see here how everything else seems to be going everything's well we still have plenty of kibble going on which is fine what do we have oh yeah we got plenty of kibble everyone should be super happy about that come on man make that chair make it big make a good chair Oh, yes, you did exactly as I told you to. That's what I'm talking about. Iris making some sculptures now as well. We wanted to get her sculpting ability up. If we go over here to her sculpting ability, it's actually already at a nine. So if we can get this up, we can start increasing the look of this place. And speaking of look of this place, let's go straight into flooring. And put down some, some stone floor here. What do we have? Limestone? Limestone it is. Limestone tile, guys. The whole damn area. Freaking. Freaking get it going. I want this place to look like a million bucks. Yes. Yes. This is the way of it. We are almost out of cotton now, unfortunately. But our, our next crop of cotton should be going okay. It's kind of going into the night now. So that's the only issue. Um, how much? We still have a couple of pieces of rice. Yeah, we have a couple pieces of rice. We got 36 meals so far. So those do need to get fixed up. Oh, we got a group of, a group of travelers. All right. Group of travelers. What are you guys doing? Man, the temperature is really weird in this place. It's like it gets warmer in the winter. That is something I am not used to. Can any of you guys trade? No, you can't. You're just like, you're just hanging around. What, are you just going to linger? Just going to freaking linger in my area and that's it? Well, whatever, I guess. Um, okay, so that used up almost all of our blocks, all, all of our limestone blocks doing that. But this place did go at least up to neutral. And then with a little bit more, we can probably bring this up to being nicer. Cargo pods, hold the, hold the phone here. Let's find out what we got. We've got muffalo wool. Oh, 
All right, well, that's really good. We can use that muffalo wool to make some clothing and things of that nature. Actually, it's, muffalo wool is really good for, like, parkas and stuff like that, which we really don't need because we're in the freaking we're in the freaking desert, but whatever. Uh, okay, the temperature did kind of dip down. So that's fine. Oh, man, toxic fallout, really? You freaking guys. You freaking guys. Lumi, what are you doing? You're hauling muffalo wool. That's fantastic. Do exactly what you are doing right now. So, toxic fallout, if you don't know, kind of sucks. It basically kills all the animals on the entire map. So, and the people, if they stay outside, they're going to die as well. So, one of the things that we're going to want to do is kind of look around here. See if there's anything here that we want to tame. There's a couple of... Oh, hold on. What do we have over here? Is this an ostrich? Oh, man, I wanted an ostrich. Oh, wow, but it attacks with a 3% chance? Eh, forget it. I don't have... I don't really want one of our guys to get an eye pecked out or something like that. Oh, there's some extra steel down here, too. In fact, now that I know that there's steel here, let's go ahead and grab it. The more steel, the better, man. We always need steel for this freaking colony. Uh, and I think I see some compacted machinery down here. Let's go grab this compacted machinery. I'm going to start kind of coring that out as well. Down here, we just have some more limestone and some things of that nature. Go ahead and haul these chunks. And go ahead and haul these chunks as well. We do need to get that stuff moving along. So, that's good. Okay, good. So, she's still working on the sculpture. Um, I don't think that right now... Okay, good. Someone is making more blocks. Juliet is our block maker. And let me keep a careful eye. Let me keep a careful eye on all these iguanas and everything. Yeah, see right there? They have initial toxic buildup. So that's the only issue. People go inside enough, but creatures not so much. So let's put... What do I want to do for our animal area? Let's see here. The animal area... Um, let me think about this for a second. The animal area level 1... Hold on, let me see if I can find this. I think it's under zones area. And then expand allowed area. There it is. Animal area 1. I will also have you guys going into here for whatever reason if you want. And then you guys can go into here as well. This way they'll have like some time to kind of come inside. There we go. Because if they come inside, they'll get rid of some of their toxic buildup, which is really nice. The only issue is that they walk through there to do it. In fact, because they're walking through there, let's make a door over here. A uh, nice sandstone door. That would be really helpful. Structures, not a limestone door. We want a sandstone door, and we're going to put one right over here. This way they don't go through our refrigerator as well. I would hate for them to like start eating meals or something like that. What is this? Oh, we're getting eggs now. That's really good. Okay. Well, that's cool. Got some uh, unfertilized iguana eggs. Nice. In fact, while we're at it, maybe we'll go ahead and try and tame the rest of these iguanas that are out here. I think I saw a couple of more kind of lingering around somewhere. Now, toxic buildup does not injure your... Does not injure your uh, plants. It only beats up on uh, on the creatures. Anything that's out. I'm going to go ahead and tame you. It's only a like a 0.5% chance at something going wrong. We're going to tame you as well. I want to keep these iguanas going. Another iguana down here as well. I'm going to tame you as well. So now everyone's getting tamed. Yes, move those freaking blocks around. Fantastic. I love it. Still have our turrets. They're doing pretty good. We haven't been raided in a while. Now that I said that, we're probably screwed. Um, let's check everyone's health real quick. We got minor buildup, initial, minor, initial, initial, initial. So we just have to make sure that we take really, really good care that everyone kind of comes inside at some point. You can see it's really weird. It's really weird too because like, with the toxic fallout, it actually looks pretty nice outside, like in the nighttime. It's very strange. Yes, eat at the freaking chairs. Eat at the chairs and enjoy them. Let me see here. Oh, finally. Oh, wait, not you. I want Toon. 
the organ harvested goes away in another couple of hours. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Finally, get yourself tons of tons of lovely fun as well, you bastards. And oh, we got more steel down here. Anytime you see it, man. Anytime you see it, you got to grab it. And we've got another iguana. So let's go ahead and grab our iguana and bring him over here. I need to start naming these iguanas, folks. So if you can come up with any iguana names, feel free to do that. Minor toxic buildup. Uh, what other kind of toxic buildup do we have going on? Oh, everyone's moving around so fast. Like I said, I think everyone has kind of a, a nice, like, mixture of being inside and being outside. So there shouldn't be much of a problem. Chimp, what is your skill at nowadays with crafting? Oh, his skill is shooting up there. He's a level 7 crafter now. It's going pretty good. The growth rate for the plants, 86%. So they are getting there, which is nice. In fact, all these, all these rice are starting to shoot up now, which is really good. Uh, we are almost out of food again, though. So what we need to do is we're going to need to focus on not making kibble. In fact, what we can do is, let's see, if we go over to butcher table and we go over to here, we can make kibble until we have a certain amount, I do believe. Let me see here. I'm pretty sure we could. I thought we could. Allow cooking skill, not suspended, do forever. Oh, here we go. Until you have X. So until you have, uh, we got it as 10 right now. Let's put it as, hold on. Until you have, I want it nice and consistent. Hold on. Let's go to 175. Until you have like, 250 and that's it there now no one's gonna be making kibble anymore I want them to be making regular meals not kibble anymore because you know it's like our freaking our freaking animals are gonna be eating better than us <laughs> how's the rice growing rice is looking okay is the strawberries about to be harvested soon and eh, not yet And the cooking area is okay. We just don't have enough, just don't have enough food right now to continue making more of those. We still have 19 meals. I think we're going to be okay. Minor risk break, I'm guessing, for two. No, it's for Jung. Jung, what's wrong with you, bud? You're sick. Oh, it's because of all the toxic environments. Uh, initial, initial, minor, minor, initial, minor, and initial. Okay, so everyone there is fine. Um, for our iguanas in there, have you? Minor, minor, moderate. We need to keep an eye on them. Minor, minor. Oh, crap. Everyone just started moving around. How about our Yorkshire Terrier? Uh, moderate. Eh, all right. I kind of wonder if the Mega Scarabs die from uh, toxic, toxic, whatever crap. Let's go ahead and turn this room crap off because it's getting in the way a lot. Tune, how you doing? You're just wandering. Oh, you're not doing anything. Well, I want you to be doing something for sure. Uh, let me see. What can we put you on? We need to put you on something, Tune. What do you have abilities in? Let's see. Uh, you're pretty good at hunting, but hunting is usually a bad idea. You are pretty good at researching as well, if we needed to get that done. I could put you on like a research task if I ever needed to. And how about your handling skills? Your handling skills are very good as well. I want to put you as an animal handler. There. Let's see. Are you going to go do something now? Yeah, he's going to go research. All right. So that's fine. I mean, Jung is usually our researcher. In fact, his researching ability should be really high. Oh, wow. 15. So, oh, cool. They can both research. That's really neat. I didn't think about that. We also have more steel coming into our stockpile areas, which is nice. Let us get... What do I want to do here? I think I'm going to want to get more hydropl hydroponics areas kind of set up and going. Let us go over here. Let us go over to production like this. And I think it's one. Let me think about this. Yeah, you can't put it this way. It's one here and one here. 
I'm pretty damn sure. Let me go over here just to the light. Yep. Sometimes I forget exactly how I like making these things. Space already occupied. Oh, I didn't even take a look at where that was. I think everything should be okay though, right? Yeah, they should be able to make this stuff. Yes, put those freaking components together. More steel, more steel. 325 steel. So the steel's going up good enough to at least make this stuff. Right when it's done, we've got to get this set up on rice as usual. Oh yeah, the rice is being made, guys. All right, that is up. Let us not plant potatoes. Let us plant rice. And then for this one, we're going to want more rice. There. And now hopefully we get some cooking going on. Yes, chimp. Do what you do, chimp. Minor risk break for Lumi. Wow, Lumi has a minor risk break? That's pretty odd. What's your problem? Oh, you're just sick. You're sick from all the toxic buildup. Well, that makes sense. Let's take a look at how these guys are doing right now. For the health. Moderate, minor, minor, moderate. Got a little iguana over there kind of lingering around. That one looks tiny. What's up with this little tiny iguana? I can't click on it because I keep clicking on something else. Oh, whatever. And then our little Yorkshire Terrier. Moderate as well. All right. Man, I hope this freaking toxic fallout goes away soon. That would be nice. Uh, machining is done. Sweet. So from here, let us go into... What do I want to go into? Mortars, probably. Mortars are going to be one of those things that are going to really help us out. If, like, when you need a mortar... You need, like, you need mortars. It's it's really good to start having. So I don't see a problem with this at all. What are these temperatures at right now? 70 degrees, but it's not able to keep our area. Oh, wow. It is, like, epically cold outside. That is why. We're going to need another heater over here for sure. Um, in fact, we may, we, we may need two more heaters. What's the temperature like up here? 66 degrees. So these guys are fine. Let's grab the temperature. Let's put another heater down. We've got one heater over there. I'm going to put this heater down over here, I think. Where do I want to put this? Do I want to keep them next to one another? Let's put this heater over here, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll put a heater over here for right now. Because I think the thing about heaters is that you can uninstall them. Okay, good, you can. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy to see that. The only issue is, is that the temperature over here, see how the non-ideal temperature right now is? That's a big issue, and it's something that we are going to have to consider. How's the health going for everyone else? We need to, like, totally keep on this constantly. Minor, initial, moderate for LeBlanc. Um, so, all right, we're going to have to consider that. Moderate, initial, moderate. Oh, we got some, we got some sexuality going on over here. Moderate, moderate, moderate. Okay, that's fine. So I think that these eggs are now fertilized. Yes, they are fertilized. And they're going to be and there is going to be some egg progress going on right now. LeBlanc, I hope that you stay out of that area. Maybe you'll feel a little bit better. Uh still moderate for him. 52% toxic buildup right now. I'm surprised it's not going down at all. LeBlanc, what are you doing? Are you just making kibble? Oh, okay, yeah, you're just making kibble. That's totally fine. You can do a little bit of that. Oh, no. Our, our freaking iguanas are vomiting all over the place. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, did you see that? It was horrible. Um, are there any more, like, block chunks laying around? I want to continue hauling all this over. Yeah, we do have some. Let's go grab all these. We'll haul those when the time comes. Minor risk break for Juliet. All right, Juliet, what is your issue? I imagine you're just feeling sick thanks to the environment. Yeah, this environmental crap is pissing me off. 46% toxic buildup. LeBlanc, where are you at? You're at a 60%. Where are you? You're hauling things. That's why you're sad right now. LeBlanc, what do I want you to do instead? I would, like, much rather have you doing something else indoors. But I just don't know what I can have you doing. Maybe we can make some more clothing. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's make some... Let's make some... Oh, let's make some cowboy hats. This is kind of important because that'll allow us to get uh, better social abilities. We'll make like five of these. So, LeBlanc, do you have any skill in this? 
Do you have any skill in tailoring or anything? Uh, I think it's under crafting. General crafting, artistic, higher quality furniture. Who's our tailor? Chimp. Chimp is our only tailor. He's got a seven. Um, wow. I guess he is our only tailor. That's terrible. I mean, that's fine. It's not a big issue. Why is this not on, though? That's my biggest question. Let's go over here to power and find out exactly why this is not on. Oh, it's a little bit too far over. Is that the issue? Oh, it is. All right. Uh, let's uninstall this and reinstall this to an area. We're going to reinstall this over here. This way, it's just better. Yeah, LeBlanc, man. Go, go inside. Go do some stuff inside for a while. You need some help. Because, oh, he's got serious toxic buildup. Yeah, we're going to need him to just hang out inside for a while. Cleaning vomit. I'm going to put him on draft. I'm just going to keep him on draft right now to kind of keep him out of being outside. Because the outside thing is, like, really starting to weigh on him. Everyone else is, like, kind of okay. Juliet has some. Ooh, a lot of our, a lot of our guanas are looking pretty bad, though. We're going to have to clear this up. Let's put them... We're going to have to bring all these guys inside right now. Ugh, man, this toxic fallout, how long is it going to last, man? Allowed area, animal area one... We need to clear areas. Um, yeah, we need to clear a lot of this area. Let's get rid of all this. I want these guys inside all the time now. Inside all the time. All of you, get up in there. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take this off of prisoners right now. And we're going to make this an area for kibble. I mean, as weird as it is, like, we have to do this right now. In fact, let me go... Oh, boy. J having to juggle this is a little bit annoying. Uh, expand allowed area. Where is this at? Okay, it is over there, which is fine. This storage. We're going to have to take all this off and only allow kibble. Uh, so I think that's under here. There it is. So do that there. And part of the area is, like, outside of what we just assigned. So, hold on. Let me go back over here and clear our area and clear this. Clear allowed area. Oh, this is going to be a stockpile clearing. I'm sorry. Delete zones. There we are. So, and then this over here, we're going to turn kibble off right now. And we'll turn it back on when the time comes. So, people should start moving this stuff out of here fairly soon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe not. We'll put this at critical when the time comes. Because there should be nothing being stored here right now. Oh, everyone's asleep. That's why. How's this iguana doing? Oh, God. The toxic buildup is extreme, man. Get inside. Get inside, iguana. Oh, he's going unconscious. Hold on. We need to rescue this iguana. Oh, we can't because we don't have a bed. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me see if we can build a bed real quick. Um, Let me see here. Furniture. Animal bed. We'll make it out of cloth. We'll put it in here. Uh, Who is chimp? Dude. Work on this bed. Like, ASAP. Like, right now. Go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Boom. Uh... Rescue this friggin' iguana. Oh, you poor iguana. Yes. The iguana's fine. Yes. And we're starting to get the kibble in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it in there. Do it. Yeah, do it now. Oh, so good. How's everyone else doing? Juliet. Moderate. LeBlanc is still serious. So, LeBlanc, I'm gonna have to, like, pay extra special attention to you. And what you are doing. In fact, I'm going to watch you for like... I'm going to stare at you intently right now. 
Yes, you are allowed to haul herbal medicine to the stockpile. That is totally fine that you do that. You are cleaning sand. You're not allowed to clean sand outside, though. You have, you just got you just got freaking drafted. Sorry, buddy. Julia, you were on moderate as well. So how are you doing? Oh, you're gonna do some stone cutting. That's fine. Go ahead and keep doing that. I'm sorry, LeBlanc. Like I'm sorry I have to keep you inside all this time. But it's just it's for your own good, man. You've got look at this. He's got a 63% toxic buildup right now. Like this poor bastard needs to stay inside big time. What is he doing? He is are you what are you gonna have something to eat? Oh, you're making kibble. Yes, you are allowed to make kibble. That that can happen. You may do this. Got a minor risk break just to probably being fairly unhappy, and I can totally understand why, especially considering what's going on right now. Uh, okay, initial minor. Juliet still has a moderate, and then LeBlanc is still at serious. Man, how long does it take for this crap to wear off? He's still at 62%, making some kibble, hauling some rice. You are definitely allowed to do that. That is fine. And then hauling granite chunk, no. You just got drafted. But I'm not going to draft you inside of this area. Let's go and move you kind of over here. It'd be nice if when you drafted people, like, they sat on the seat. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, cargo pods, hold on. What do we get in the cargo pods? Oh, this is so lucky. Look at this. 25 more freaking packaged survival meals. Okay. Who has... The lowest amount of injury right now from this. Cooking simple meals. Uh, minor, moderate. Jung has initial because he's researching like all the time. Let's go ahead and have you haul this crap. Break down the solar generator. Break down the solar generator. Go get it. Go get it. Where's it at? This one right here. Oh, Tune. Nice. I didn't have to tell you. Good job, Tune. Good job. No, LeBlanc, you can't go outside. We've talked about this. He's at 61%. So, I mean, it's going down. It's just taking a while. Initial minor moderate for Juliet right now. I may have to keep her inside or something a little bit as well. Serious. I think all of our animals should be doing fine now. This guy over here still has extreme. But... If we keep him, if we keep him inside long enough, yeah, see, it's going down. It just takes a while. It went down to 82. Same thing for LeBlanc, I imagine. He's at 60 right now. So it's just going to take a long time. Uh, where are you sitting at on the old toxic buildup kind of timeline? Eh, not great. Still at moderate. Hopefully once they get some sleep, things will be better. All right, guys. So we've been having big issues with all of this toxic stuff going on. Um, but, you know, I mean, we're doing what we can. And it does look like, if you notice, I'm drafting LeBlanc. And then the draft is, like, auto-turning off now and again. So it looks like, and it, that's kind of cool, actually, that the that the draft, it will auto-undraft people after a while, which is pretty sweet. So that's something to note as well. Guys, hope you're enjoying RimWorld, the Pure Evil Edition so far. Hopefully we can survive past this damnable toxic fallout. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.